Okay. So we've got people joining, so I just want to welcome okay. everyone to the webinar uh, with Jason Waldron, Wally the Web Guy. Jason and I have known each other for a long, long time, and we're going to get into that, but just wanted to welcome you to this, this uh, webinar. Uh, make sure when, when Jason asks if things are making sense that you type in the little text window responses to let them know you're there. Let's let them know what kind of marketing mobsters we are and what kind of crew uh, we've assembled for him, uh, for everyone from my community. That would be awesome. So a little excitement, a little enthusiasm, and because uh, he's going to share a lot of awesome information uh, with you. So just wanted to welcome everyone again. We're going to get started here in the next uh, minute or so, but uh, thanks for taking time out of your day, and it's going to it's going to be worth every second of uh, the time. So really, really appreciate you. And I'm excited and pumped to have Jason on. Uh, we're going to do a couple of these webinars, start doing more of these. Um, so Jason got the number one slot to kick off uh, with this first webinar. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. We've got a hey there from Sue. So hey there, Sue. Glad, glad to have you here on the webinar. Um, you know, it looks like we've got more folks showing up. And... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be kicking off this series. I think it's great what you're doing for your audience there, Vince, as far as, um, you know, just sharing different ways that folks can, you know, continue to grow their business. And, uh, I mean, you know, um, you, you know how passionate I am about this kind of stuff, and I know that you are too. And, you know, it's really about entrepreneurs helping other entrepreneurs and just, you know, finding ways to grow. And the more, uh, the more growth you create around yourself, the more growth everybody has, and it's great. Yep. And with that, let's kick it off. Um, just to give everyone a sense, I know we got people still joining and stuff, but we're going to get underway here. Uh, so, you know, for, at a high level, we've been working with Wally since 2004. He and I joined a mastermind group back then. Uh, Matt Fury was our mentor, uh, where we learned a lot of direct response principles and, uh, and got to know a lot of different awesome people. And Jason, Jason was one of those folks. And, uh, We've worked together on projects. We've masterminded on our own with some of our recent successes. And, uh, you know, we've essentially helped countless entrepreneurs grow uh, in different projects that I would uh, refer Jason to or uh, just projects that Jason would help me with. Uh, there's something to be said these days for a guy that knows all the different ins and outs that Jason does. I don't want to label him with one. Um, but just something to be said for you know, getting the job done right the first time. Uh, there's a lot of folks out there that will help you in marketing and uh, you never hear from them again. They say they can do all these wonderful things. They don't deliver on half of them. And so um, what I've experienced with Jason, I, I don't have a problem with paying a little more to make sure the job gets done right and gets, you know, I know what's going to get done. So uh, Jason over the years has created some amazing results for his clients and uh, really, really excited to introduce him today. He's going to share a lot of valuable information for you, so make sure you have a notepad there. Uh, if you're a veteran in business, you're going to find at least one gold nugget, maybe two, that you didn't know before. And if you're still putting kind of the pieces together in your marketing, you're going to want to take a ton of notes with that notepad. So without further ado, uh, welcome Jason. And thanks for your time today to share the awesome information you're going to share with my audience. Oh, awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Vince, and uh, welcome, everybody. Um, you know, it, it speaks to how long Vince and I have known each other that, that uh, you're still calling me Jason because it seems like everybody started calling me Wally, and it took on this like, life of its own, which is hilarious, and people started calling me Wally the web guy, which is its own uh, story in itself, and maybe we'll get to that. But, um, you know, today is all about, um, you know, showing you folks how to create more high value customers. Um, you know, we're, we're gonna do a lot of case study stuff here today. Um, Vincent, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna just kind of mute you out. Um, yep, yep, that's perfect. Awesome, thank you. Um, and we're gonna talk about some, um, you know, how, how we created a 334% ROI uh, with, with some very simple marketing tactics that you can duplicate and, and show you some really amazing stuff here. And so ultimately, if you have a business, you're looking to gain more customers, you're looking to eliminate your competition in an ethical manner, we hope, and double your profits in any economy, and that's just what we're gonna cover here today. And so, I'm gonna kinda dive right into it, and 
one of the reasons I'm sharing my secrets here is because having been around this space for so long, I just want to help you prevent those mistakes that I see other businesses making right now. And there's really a lot of information out there in this marketplace. And, you know, from a more philosophical note, where I'm coming from is, you know, Zig Ziglar, uh, you remember him, he, he passed away a couple of years ago. Um, you know, smart, smart, very uh, smart guy, you know, he says you can have everything in life that you want if you just help another enough other people get what you want. So it's all about creating value. And so, um, you know, who's this webinar for? So if, if you identify yourself as a consultant, a coach, an entrepreneur, business owner, an e-commerce merchant, and, and really if you're online trying to sell anything, you're really an e-commerce merchant of some type, uh, you know, then this is going to be for you and you'll find some value here. Uh, if you've ever asked yourself, hey, how can I gain more customers? How can I eliminate my competition? How can I double my profits in any economy? I, and I think any smart business owner has probably asked themselves those questions. Then you're going to get some value here today. And so we're going to talk about you know these strategies that have been applied to marketers, to manufacturers, to service providers, to content experts, and you know they've generated an additional five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars over time, and try to walk you through how other folks found. Um, you know, found this solution and started to put it in their own business and how you can actually put it into your business as well. I do need to warn you, you know, this is not like a million dollar overnight solution. Um, you know, however, it is, it's proven step by step process that you go through. And if you chip away at it, then, you know, your million dollars will kind of hit you on the other side. And so this is me here. Uh, looks like I'm uh, doing a little bit of prosperity Tai Chi there, uh, you know, speaking to a group here in Vegas earlier this year, and we were talking about uh, a lot of these same things, you know, how do you ramp up your business and how do you do things when it seems like creating more sales is more difficult than ever. And, you know, I wanted to kind of give you a little background on myself so you know I'm a real guy, sort of. Uh, show you where I've been in life and you know, maybe you'll identify with some of these things. So um, this is me before the transformation. This is probably what I looked like when Vince and I first met. Um, I had just come home from a really long day uh, working as a frustrated IT guy at an accounting firm. I was exhausted. Um, I did have some pretty groovy glasses on, but other than that, I didn't have a lot going for me. I was just like, you know, some, something's got to change here. And um, you know, just really got to uh, get to a place where, you know, things are a little bit better. And, you know, the um, one, one of the folks said, sweet earrings, dude. So um, something happened uh, around that period of time, which was really cool. And I ended up going and meeting a friend of mine named Jim. And Jim and I sat down and I started to tell him about this side business that I had created. And the side business was my lifeline and it was the way to get out of this uh, kind of cubicle existence that I had created for myself and was giving me the light at the end of the tunnel and this is very early on as a business person and Jim was you know something else he had a you know happy marriage had a happy family he was traveling the world and he was going to these really cool masterminds like we were just talking about and it was a place where um, you know we had this dinner where he revealed to me something that um, just blew my mind. And so he looks at me and he says, all right, so you're starting a business. He looks at me really, really serious and says, is this a business or is this a hobby? And I looked at him and I just say, no, man, this is a business. And he's like, well, good. And he proceeds to map out the next 10 or 12 years of his life. And what he had gotten into was a thing called information publishing and internet marketing. And so I started to learn about how that stuff worked. And my mind was blown because I had all this business background that I'd gotten from school, but it wasn't necessarily applicable to what I was doing. And I had all this technological background that I was getting uh, just from my profession. But I had not sorted things out in a certain way uh, that Jim had showed me that could actually create wealth and create freedom and could really build a sustainable, leverageable, scalable business. And so out of that conversation, the seeds of Wally the web guy was born. And so I started to invest in myself. I started to travel far and wide. There I am at a conference and uh, you can actually see, see the back of my head there if you look closely. And um, 
the uh, you, you know I just started investing my education and put it into action and I started to take on clients and I started to you know learn from mistakes and I lost clients and I gained clients I mean I made mistakes and you know all sorts of stuff happened and through it all I would pick myself back up if it got frustrating and just remember that having a good attitude is really what leads you to success and so over the years I started to build this side business until it became a huge life to the point where I quit my job and I did it on November 1st 2007 so it was the great recession it was literally day number one of the great recession so perfect timing right and you you know you think I was crazy now thinking looking back on it but there was no stopping this train I mean it was attitude equals success going for it hundred percent did six figures my first year out on my own great recession and all no big deal so now here we are a few years later and literally so I had to put this in here because it's hilarious somebody called me internet marketing legend the other day and I was like yeah okay and uh, but but it, it, it has turned into its own thing where you know um, on the internet a lot of people know me as Wally the web guy I help people grow their businesses on online and I've taken this knowledge base I've gained through these hard-fought battles over the years to combine marketing and technology and sometimes with mergers and acquisitions actually which is a whole nother story but just to give you a sense for the scope of what we're doing over here and you know um, we, we have uh, folks all around the world who have read my books have taken courses um, you know I'm involved either as a chief operating officer or chief, uh, chief executive officer or um, CMO of a couple different businesses and you know we're taking this continuous improvement approach as far as measuring and managing and improving over and over and over again and so wherever you are you just kind of sit there and you can measure and improve and you just keep measuring and improving and measuring and improving and so my mission and why I'm here today is to help a thousand entrepreneurs just like you to dominate your markets using the internet and that is what really really gets me excited about things and that's what really um, you know gets gets things going and so I'm a family guy I love to ski and you know that's me so what we're going to talk about here today is called the master key and throughout this whole journey I I went around you know going uh, going through the trials going through the tribulations and starting to figure out you know what is ultimately the roadmap for success with online mark what does that look like and you know Vince mentioned uh, that that we both were mentored under Matt Fury at one point you know here's a guy who was selling his own knowledge packaging it up in such a way that he's making millions and millions of dollars a year out of his spare bedroom in his house right pretty cool model well it gets even cooler when you start working with people who duplicate his model you start to learn things and so what I did was I just sat behind the scenes here of these folks and started to apply everything I could and just take a look at what was really working what was really not working behind the scenes on the internet and as I discovered what I now call the master key weird thing happened where I found out that this master key truly has you universal application to business growth and you know, we're in a scenario now in 2016 where all business is now e-commerce and you know there's a whole bunch of software as a service going on um, and and you know like if, if you don't think that your business is e-commerce let's say you know what I've got a cupcake store and I need people to come in the front door and I need them to come and buy my cupcakes well guess what happens if you're not listed on Google or you have a whole bunch of bad Yelp reviews or somebody else right next to you has a better Google listing and they have a bunch of better Yelp reviews you're an e-commerce business uh, because that's what's going to drive whether or not you get the foot traffic that you need to stay in business so started applying the master key to these different places um, one of the folks that we worked with we took an old offer that they were um, putting up and by tweaking just one little minor thing we increased conversions by 46.9 percent started to apply the master key to to deal making and looking at deals and saying hey you know what uh, if you've got a business and certain numbers line up we could come in here and think we could grow X amount 
how do we do a deal? And so that led to growing businesses alongside the owners, that led to automating sales for people, that led to automating traffic for people, and things just keep getting more and more exciting because as we take this continuous improvement approach, we're not just learning from what we're doing with our customers, we're also learning with our own um, portfolio companies and stuff like that and applying the knowledge universally. And so what the master key ultimately ends up being, and I'll share with, we'll start to dive into some um, specifics here, is something that you can overlay on any business and do a gap analysis and all of a sudden say, okay, your business is here and it looks like you're missing these pieces of the puzzle. If we just fill in these pieces over here, 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 and here, then the chances are high, like 90% or better, that you're going to be in a better place. And it's amazing what happens at that point because you're objective about what's going on and you're clear on what's going to happen next. And that's really what you want when you're trying to grow a business, right? So what is the master key? Well, how can I use it in my business? All right, so that's what we're going to spend the next um, uh, 40 minutes or so talking about is, first of all, what is it? What does it look like? Um, what are the pieces that make up the master key? Because I said you can overlay it over top of your business. And then we'll dive into some case studies to give you some real life examples of not just how you can use it in your business, but how people have already used it in their business. It'll just be, give you some um, um, some examples and just kind of be an idea generator because everyone is a little bit different, but ultimately um, it, it's universally applicable. So the master key at a very, very high level looks like this. And over on the left, you see your traffic stack and that's where your new leads come from. And so there are a pool of individuals who are out there in the world. And we're talking everywhere from um, the 93% of people who are starting their internet experience today with a search. So people are searching for answers. Now they might be searching on Google, they might be searching on Amazon, they might be searching on iTunes, they might be searching on YouTube, but people are out there searching for answers all the time. There's also people who are on Facebook all the time and they're looking at ads and they're clicking on ads and they're coming to places. Well, when all of these people are out there on the internet, they have a conversation in their head. And so what you're trying to do with the traffic stack is reach those people and meet them where they are, where they have a conversation already going on in their head and bring them to your money-making website. Now your money-making website has a whole bunch of components which I'll discuss here in detail in a minute, but just suffice for right now, it, it's, it sits there and it does a lot of automated things for you and it takes people through a methodical process to create sales for you. And then once you have sales, it's all about doing an awesome job maximizing your profits. And the beautiful thing about this is if it's all done correctly, there's nothing manipulative about it. It's all about serving the customers to help them solve their problems and do so in a way that also benefits you. And so broken down in a more granular fashion now, you see the traffic stack up in the upper left hand corner. This is what the master key formula looks like. And from traffic, you might send people to relationship enhancers. So you hear a lot nowadays about content marketing. Well, what is content marketing? It's about building that first level of trust. It's about building that relationship. And so a relationship enhancer might be something like testimonials or case studies, or it might be something like a long form blog post or something of value that you're putting out there in the internet um, sphere that allows people to uh, build that first relationship with you. At some point, and perhaps immediately, you want to bring people into your siphon. And so you want to get email opt-ins. You want people to raise their hand in some form or fashion and start to buy into what you have going on. This is permission-based marketing. This is inbound marketing one-to-one, right? And so we're bringing people in who are interested in uh, what you have going on. You're uh, bringing them onto the email marketing or, or other types of follow-up marketing and saying, yes, I'm interested in what you're talking about. I want to be, I want to learn more. I like where we're going. And so you see a little um, smiley face looking thing on the bottom there, uh, the arrow going across that says TBAFS. This right here is one of my favorite things ever because what you're doing is leveraging 
on average a 4,300, yes, yeah, so 4,300 percent. The number is so big it actually trips me up. So 4,300 percent, think about that, ROI. That's what implementing a TBAFS does. And a TBAFS is this, it is a specially crafted trust building automated follow-up sequence. And what it does is you follow up, follow up, follow up with your prospects until you've built the trust and they're ready to come over to your irresistible offer. And the irresistible offer, of course, is created in such a way that it takes people through an emotional experience. It shows them that you understand the problem they're having. It shows them that you are the best solution for them. It shows them that there are ways that you can help them. And from there, you fulfill, you cross-sell, you upsell, you downsell, and you do a wonderful job of that, and it actually becomes a closed loop because people refer you back, um, refer their friends, family, and so on and so forth back into your traffic stack, and it becomes this virtuous cycle. So that's what the master key looks like, and you know it took it took a good um, 12 years of hard work to really come to this, uh, but now it's scientific, and and that's really to your benefit. So. That is uh, what it looks like, and I'm going to dive in now granularly on the traffic stack here. You can see that I, I, I don't remember how many, there's probably like 18 that are listed here, but I mean, we can come up with all sorts of internet traffic. The thing to know about internet traffic is that one way or another, you're going to pay to play, and so, uh, for instance, I'm showing on there, there's, there's pay-per-click, right? Um, and, and that could be like Facebook pay per click, that could be Bing ads, that could be Google ads, it could be other placed ads. That, for instance, is uh, ex right off the bat, uh, you do that, and you can pay for it, and you can um, get a result right away, right? So you pay some money, pay per click, boom, and then on the other side, uh, you see what your results are. On the other hand, organic SEO, you can do all of that yourself if you want to. And same with like off-site content and a PR campaign. Um, I don't recommend you do typically, but if you did all of that, oh, it's free. Well, your time costs something, right? It's going to take you all day long basically to you know write blog ads at a rate of the equivalent of like $2 an hour or less for years before you're gonna get all the benefits of that. Or you could take a smarter approach and do what you do best and kind of hire out the rest and, and find where you fit in this. But there, there's all these things, right? The YouTube videos, same thing goes for that, right? Joint ventures. Um, you know, I was on the phone with somebody the other day and, you know, I said, you know, joint ventures are awesome because they're such a, you know, it's free traffic in a sense, right? Because you call somebody up and you say, hey, we're going to do a joint venture. They promote people over to you and then you're done. And it's like, you know, that was a great joint venture I did the other day. All I had to do was call the guy up and get him to promote over. Uh, all, and then all it took before then was 12 years of staying in touch with him. <laughs> you know, so there, there's really no free traffic and, you know, I mean, it, it's business. There's no free lunch, right? So this is the traffic stack. This is where your new prospects and leads come from. Um, so let's let's keep on going here. Um, you know, the, the key really uh, with the traffic stack is that whatever your business is, you're going to have a different traffic stack than the cupcake factory. You're going to have a different traffic stack than, you know, your competitor oftentimes. The, the key is to measure and manage and keep uh, figuring out where your most effective traffic sources come from. So diving a little bit more granular onto the money-making website itself, you know, then we're bringing people from the traffic stack through the relationship enhancers. Those are the case studies, those are the expert positioning documents, white papers, testimonials, bringing people into the opt-in, into the prospect siphon, nurturing them over into the irresistible offer. And so this is just a quick example of somebody who's in more of an industrial space, and we'll dive deeper on him in a little bit. But you can see here, like, he's got home, so he's got about, he's got blog, endorsements, contact. Those are your relationship enhancers. And the key about, um, well, going back, let me show you that one more time. The, you, you can see there on the contact us, um, he's collecting people's information. And the key here is that most people, 92%, will visit a website one time and never return. And so... Uh, that means that you have to come up with ways to get them to return. Because the direct opposition to that is that 85% of visitors will buy your product or service from you or from someone else in 12, 24 months. Now it becomes a game of follow-up, right? And that's where bringing people into the prospect siphon here um, becomes really important because we need to gather 
people to come in. So if we've got 90% of transactions that are completed between this fifth to 12th contact with your prospect, we have to follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. So you have to capture leads and then you have to follow up with them. So that's where the trust building automated follow-up sequence comes in. And that's where that 4,300% um, uh, um, you know, 4,300% ROI comes in because for every prospect that you bring in, if you've already automated all this marketing behind that, you just have to send more people through that prospect siphon. Well, cool. Where are we sending people? You have to get the ROI from somewhere where you're sending them to offers, of course. And so an irresistible offer is exactly what it sounds like. It's, um, you know, there, there's different ways to do it, of course. There's your traditional, um, well, not traditional, but, you know, there's a lot of different ways and to send people to offers. There's long form sales letter pages, which despite what people will tell you still work and they still convert. There's long form video sales letters. There's webinars. We're on a webinar right now. Um, all of this stuff serves to take people through a process where they have to be educated enough and objections overcome until they have actually uh, decided that it's in their best interest to do business with you. And so, um, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of doing kind of a hybrid marketing thing um, because we do a lot of business to business stuff. And, um, you know, so contacting somebody by the sales team, kind of getting people into, uh, you know, into a funnel that way, really, really good way to go. And of course, where are you bringing them once you sell them? Well, you make the initial sale and then there might be an opportunity for an upsell, for a cross sell, for customer retention. You know, you're sending them over to the sales team, the customer service people are doing a great job, and of course, fulfillment. And if you do all these things well, it becomes a virtuous cycle, as I've discussed. And so now the now uh, some of the stuff that happens, you know, you can get the emails going, you can get the you know dollar signs going, you get the the phone ringing and stuff like that. So um, that's what we're going to talk about now. Or, okay. You have an idea of the overall sense of, all right, this is what the master key looks like. Well, that's cool. What's it look like in real life? All right, cool. So uh, this is Sabrina Dominoski, and um, we were together a number of years ago, but this is still such a powerful case study that uh, we bring it out. And we um, ended up working with her to kind of get uh, part of this business off the ground. And it was really cool because what she was able to do was take her uh, coaching practice, she was a personal trainer, you can tell, um, and then make people go into this um, virtual coaching practice basically, right? So she, and here, so here's what her master key looked like. And one of the reasons I like to show this one is it's actually fairly unconventional compared to a lot of these other ones. So you can see here, we brought people in through a teleseminar and, you know, Nowadays, it's like, tell a seminar, are you kidding me? Well, heck yeah, tell a seminar. If that's going to get you in front of people to do a presentation and it's a way that you can have people go through exercise and stuff like that and do the tell seminar, right? Um, from there, took them to an irresistible offer, which in her case was actually a free coaching session. And then she was a very talented salesperson, so it was a belly-to-belly -belly sales call, essentially. She brought brought people in through the customer purchase. So you can see the little guy going, yay, I made a purchase. And then they did the one-on-one -on -one consult there and then got upsold. And so it was a multi-step sequence. And, um, but it went, it, it, there's actually another step you probably don't see, which was, okay, Wally, how'd they get on the teleseminar? Well, she used email marketing and joint venture partners to do that. And so this is a really powerful one to do and, and it works, you know, send people into the irresistible officer, uh, offer, have them do the customer purchase, do the one-on-one -on -one cons consult and upsell them. And that's profit maximizer. So here's where her results were. And this was so exciting. You know, she went from essentially zero the week before to $4,000 uh, right away. And we were able to take this old looking, uh, plain boring deal here and help her get her prospect siphon going like that and start to get things uh, rocking and rolling. And so you can see the difference there where uh, functionally it's just a couple of minor changes, but it's a, it's a pretty big deal. And the thing is, is that um, when I look at this, um, it's really about what it did for her life because not long after that, uh, she was she was in America and she was kind of frustrated. Uh, she now lives in Australia and she's kind of, uh, she went vagabond for a while. She ran a virtual training business and now, now she's set down roots down in Oz and looks like she's doing great from everything I can tell. So, I mean, 
that's awesome, right? I mean, how can you not like that? So um, that's really what it's all about, right? Is she served a bunch of people and then she was rewarded for it and everybody's happy. So um, let's keep on going with these. Um, Carl, this is another one of my favorite ones. Um, Carl came to me, he was a, he was dejected. He was frustrated um, and and just like ready to give up on his dream. And so you see that weird looking phone booth, uh, phone box, I don't even know what you call it, you know, shoe box uh, that, he, that, that he's carrying. That is Carl and he um, he ran at Eberg Scientific and um, we showed you this just a couple minutes ago. But his situation was like this, where he's super pumped about his his robot that he created and it does a really good service for the uh, world that he serves. It's much, much better than his two closest competitors. It's at a competitive price point. It's like everything that textbook should be, uh, he should be crushing it, right? He should be just taking out his competition left and right, but he's not. Why? No marketing. So he pretty much had like nothing. It was completely skeptical about putting anything into place. And so it took some work to get Carl going. So we started with this, which I showed you earlier. We started with the relationship enhancers and the expert positioning stuff. And we actually, uh, that's his prospect siphon. So it says, give me your name and email address and I'll send you 37 ways to turn your F number measurements into more dollars. So F number is a specific thing to that industry it's speaking directly to his prospect. It sends them directly to a free report. People read through the report and then they're actually nurtured on the trust building automated follow-up sequence for three whole years. So what's even cooler about that is you've got SEO sending people to this website. So that would be automatic traffic on one hand, that would be automatic lead generation on the other hand, and automatic lead uh, nurturing on the third hand, if there's a third hand. And so that's where we focused. You can see everything there. It's all uh, highlighted and stuff like that. And what ended up happening was he started making these sales. And most of them still, uh, you, this, I, I probably neglected to mention, this is a $13,000 product. Um, Maybe it's down to 11,000 now because they've gotten more efficient about it. I mean, this is a serious product. And so um, you know, he, he wakes up one day a couple years ago, and this was hilarious. So he had, he had invested a lot of time and effort. We had built a lot of this stuff for him, and we'd gotten things going for him. And calls me up one, one morning, I think it was June, and he's just like, hey, is this real? I'm like, is what real? And he shows me a, a receipt. It says $13,000 on it. I said, is that from your website? He says, yeah. He said, yeah, that's real. That's what we did for you. <laughs> and he says, you know what? I never believed when you said that this was going to happen, that this was going to happen. And I said, well, it happened. So that's really the power of this formula. And, and that's why it's one of my favorite stories is because, you know, he went from basically non-believer at all, you know, sure. You know, I mean, he was very, very reluctant. And I'm like, just trust me. It's going to take some effort, but we'll get there. And on the other side, he didn't lift a finger and he made a, you know, five-figure sale so it's pretty awesome um, you know there that's what his SEO looks like you can see there he's you know listed uh, high up on Google where everybody's looking and you know he's part of that 93% of uh, internet searches uh, you know people starting that so I mean he, he he was about to go out of business I he goes you know he's back ordered in less than 10 months the prospects are coming they're you know quickly easily he's got money in the bank for the first time in five years um, so, you know, it's awesome, right? This is what it's all about. So, more case studies for you. Um, this guy here, this is another uh, contact. I, I put him in here because uh, both Vince and I have worked with him. And uh, so Dr. Wu Di, he, uh, he had a situation where uh, it was very unfortunate his, um, his business was kind of falling apart. He had this, like, really cool passive income thing going. And, you know, his, his main business is helping people uh, heal energetically. He's an energetic uh, doctor, and and he's he's kind of old school, traditional Chinese medicine guy. Was doing this way before it was popular, and so he really knows his stuff. And kind of as a sidecar to his practice, he was able to build another side income here. So he had a lot of the things going on that Carl had, except his uh, main webmaster and marketing guy uh, pretty much up and quit on him, kind of went crazy, got really mad at him and all this other stuff. So instead of having all the pieces put in place now, they were starting to fall apart. So he came over to us and we had to kind of rebuild some things from scratch. And so you can see here, uh, we started to list his products in a way that's very easy to uh, see what people are doing. And if you actually drill down on any of those, um, 
you'll get long form sales letters. So it, it's a combination of the relationship enhancer and then clicking down in there into longer form sales letters because people are going to come and uh, build that relationship with you. Um, and from your perspective, it's fairly passive. And it's also with all that extra content, it's very uh, search engine optimized and, and it's really out of there. Um, but we started to look here uh, on the missing elements of the master key. And so he was missing his trust building automated follow-up sequence. Uh, he wasn't really actively bringing in traffic, and he definitely didn't have upsell and cross-sell items. So what we ended up doing was just putting uh, that gap analysis, overlaying it on top of his business, looking for what was missing, and uh, from there, we just filled in the gaps. And so um, he, he started getting more traffic, started doing more YouTube videos and stuff like that. We taught him how to optimize them. We optimized a bunch of them for him and he started to get more traffic. And then from there he got his organic SEO, right? It started to crank up. Uh, we put a number of technologies into place where uh, he was blogging on a regular basis, but then that uh, turned into SEO for him uh, because he was following a process plus our technology we put in place for him. And you remember I was talking about marketing plus technology. That's what it's really all about. So a lot of his marketing was then on autopilot. He would touch it once and it would do multiple things for him. Uh, he tripled his product line because he had a lot more time that we freed up for him. And it started to generate $1,500 to $2,000 monthly. And I should mention too that automating his... Um, follow-up sequence, the first 108 days were just taken care of. So when somebody came into his um, into his website and opted in, got on his list and all this other stuff, what would happen is when people were the most interested, they'd be sent to offers. And so it created a fairly quick feedback loop there where he knew what was working and what was not working. So pretty awesome. Um, and I, I don't know about you, but anytime I can create an extra fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars of sales with minimal effort, I'm all for it. So um, that's that's really what it's all about. And so uh, that that's how we applied it to Dr. Wu D. Now um, more case studies. So we got a couple more here. Um, this is John Rollerson. So this is a business to business guy. Uh, he's sitting here, you know, selling high ticket items to places like the Navy and places like NASA and all this other stuff. And so. When, when we found them, uh, they uh, had uh, almost nothing in place, uh, and they were overpaying uh, drastically for what they were getting uh, from their old provider. And, I mean, somebody basically was charging them, I don't know what it was, it was, it, it was well over, it, it was a five-figure sum every year to get some traffic to a website that did not convert to them. There was no relationship enhancers, no prospect siphon, no follow-up, and... Uh, essentially no offers. And so there were, it, it took a little while, uh, but we started to add the case studies and stuff like this. And, and this is actually a pretty old screenshot. Um, I mean, the, the amount of videos alone that we, we have on their website now to build that relationship and take people through it is just ridiculous. And you know, they built out this trust building automated follow-up sequence. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to go on three years plus here pretty soon. And, and it started to generate, um, you know, sales and sales and sales. And so they actually did one engagement uh, with me to begin and they kind of rolled with that for a long time. And then they, they kept coming back for more because we kept building their business for them. And so, uh, you know, th this might seem a little dramatic, but I think this speaks to the power of what we put in place and kind of the collaborative nature of how we work with people. Um, you know, John had this thing where this summer, kind of a double whammy. First his wife gets put in hospital health issues and then a couple of weeks later he gets punched in the face because he's doing the MMA gym thing <laughs> and um, he breaks his neck basically. So he's literally in the ICU and laying there and without doing anything people are booking appointments and setting up his uh, last quarter of the year and he goes out and ends up closing uh, you know, one deal uh, is going to be, uh, you know, over the next three years, a seven-figure deal. Now, all of that was being set up while he was l literally laying in the ICU. And so that's kind of the, you know, what that speaks to is that they've worked with us for a small period of time to create an asset in their business so they can use again and again and again. So that's really the power in that. And, you know, the fortune is in the follow-up. I tell you what, that, that's a great example of, of that because people were coming to his website automatically and they were getting followed up with and sent to those offers. 
So once again, um, you know, the, that's the power of the traffic stack, bringing new people in, finding the unlimited pool of prospects. So uh, in John's case, it looks very, very much like this. So, so it's kind of a hybrid master key. Um, and, you know, so some traffic goes directly to relationship enhancers. Some, you know, ultimately they're all going to the prospect, prospect, prospect siphon and then getting nurtured into the irresistible offer. And then it's up to somebody to... Um, go and make that final sale because it is business to business it is custom and stuff like that so um you know uh he's actually well well beyond a hundred thousand dollars extra in in 10 months um but but that was kind of the initial um deal when we worked together that's that's what, where we got him going you know he's still working with us got the automated traffic you know he he doesn't really have to do anything i i'm guessing that from his perspective it's much less than eight hours at this point um he probably does two hours of work, um, and most of that is like sending us an email forward now and again. And um, other than that, uh, we actually ask him to get on the phone once a month and just go over some stuff. So um, he pretty much doesn't have to work on any of this stuff, and it and it benefits him all the time. So he's got this sales stampede set up. It's a really good thing for him, and and we're pumped that we can help him do that. Um, so uh, here now here here's one that's like totally interesting. Um, this this is the kind of the final important master key case study, and I'm gonna try to finish this up within the hour here for you guys to respect your time. Uh, forgive me if I go over a little bit. Um, so we'll do the best we can. But these these are my friends over at a. Uh, a ski company here locally. Uh, they're called Icelandic Skis, and. This is one of the best examples of, if you don't think you're in an e-commerce business, you really need to question that because these guys did not think that they're in an e-commerce business at first until we started to put in some of these pieces. And so you see up there in the upper left-hand corner, you know, we, we put a prospect siphon in there. Discover the secret stashes, right? If you're a skier, and I told you I'm a skier, so um, what do you want? You want first tracks, right? It's kind of like, you know, finding that uh, untapped beach with the awesome waves if you're a surfer, right? Um, well, uh, so we started a club called First Tracks, and how we did it was we used an internet launch model. And so at the beginning of the summer, when nobody was thinking about skiing, we asked everybody to get on the early bird list. And we started to create uh, some um, uh, relationships with these other, like Ski Magazine, you know, all these other places in the industry and stuff like that. And so we just built excitement around this. And then what happened was, when the early bird list time uh, came around, we had this like predisposed pool to market to of people who said, yes, I'm interested in hearing about this when, when the enrollment starts. And so we had this built-in scarcity model going too. Well, what we did was when things started to ramp up um, at the end of August, is we launched. So we built a bunch of, hey, it's coming in a few days, hey, it's coming in two days, hey, it's coming in 48 hours, hey, it's coming in 24 hours, that kind of thing. And really built up all the cool stuff they were about to get access to if they acted quickly. So they knew their scarcity because we kept 50 members initially. And we also had the situation where, uh, you know, we were nurturing them along the way and getting them really excited. Well, when it dropped at 12 noon mountain time, they got nonstop phone calls. The place was going ape. Uh, they, they ended up uh, being on track for $98,000 in less than 24 hours. The majority of that was prepaid. And the reason I say on track for is because some of it was like an annual plan kind of thing. And so they figured out that uh, these super fans were bringing in somewhere around $100,000 uh, of extra uh, extra revenue that year. I don't know if it was profit. And so that was a situation where you have a ski company who was hurting for cash that time of year. We figured out a creative way to leverage their assets already in place, apply the master key to it, and create an extra six figures, basically. So I think that's pretty awesome. Um, the one warning about the master key, and this is not hype, I'm gonna tell you a very true story and it still kind of makes me sad. Um, the master key is not for everyone uh, because the increase in sales could be staggering. And I'm going to explain this to you. We had a lady who, um, I, I see we have a powder hound on here. That's awesome. Um, everybody should be a powder hound. Um, actually, not not really. Nobody should be a powder hound, so you can get it all for yourself. Um, so the master key formula is is not for everyone. 
the master key formula it can create the situation where the sales could be staggering and it could actually put you out of business. And so this actually happened with one of my customers recently. It was a couple years ago. And it, 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 it's a case of be careful what you wish for. She came on board and we talked about where she was with her e-commerce business. And she was at, a, I thought, a pretty good you know, rate of um, uh, you know, um, conversion. <laughs> so she's sitting there and she's got, uh, about 1.5% conversion. So 100 people come to the website, about 1.5 of them become customers. So, well, hey, you know, what, what do you think success would be like? You know, what, what's a really good success? And she's like, man, if we could make it to 3% conversion, that'd be outstanding. I mean, we would just be raking it in. So we went to work and started cranking things up. And we thought within a year we could get it up to 3% conversion. Within three months, we had it up to 4.5% conversion and we were selling more expensive stuff with a higher profit margin. All sounds good so far, right? Sounds awesome. That's like what you want. No, because what happened was the demand overwhelmed the operations and the operations became so frustrating that she just shut the whole thing down. And it was like, are you kidding me? First of all, I'm sorry, that was not what anybody wanted to have happen. But secondly, it was like, oh man. Um, law of unintended consequences. So that was a tough one to swallow. Um, so just be careful what you wish for. Um, and one of the things um, that we have going on um, now as a result of that story is that that's actually um, one of the reasons why I, I have different avenues for people now that I didn't a few years ago, where if you do get to the point where demand is starting to overwhelm you. I have ways to help you with that. I didn't a few years ago, and that still makes me sad. Um, but that's a live and learn. And so um, so if you're, if you're here and you're tired of fumbling, you're not getting results, um, you know, if you feel like you deserve the profit explosion strategies that companies around the world are using to secure their empires, um, or if you're ready to unlock your sales stampede, then I want to talk to you about a few different ways that we work with folks. And I'm actually going to outline for you, if I may, uh, a course that we have access to and um, kind of just walk you through this because it, what it gives you is more of an outline of how all of this stuff can be put into your uh, business. And so, you know, basically what, you know, what if, just think for a minute, what if you had access to all these strategies and you were able to like place them perfectly in your business and in such a way that you can nurture your growth. You know, what if you were that e-commerce business and you cranked up your conversion and stuff like that? What would that look like? Well, let me walk you through that in the context of modules. Um, the modules, there would actually be 21 aspects to that. And just think of this as a checklist for a minute. And this is what the modules would look like. So you'd find your target market to sell to. You'd choose which one was a good fit for you. You'd research your competition. You'd eliminate your competition. And you'd start to beat your competition. And then you would design your website around response to increase sales, and you would start to look at what's the most important secret to your long-term success. And I'll share that with you right now. It's build a list and communicate with them. If you get nothing out of this whole talk, please know that building a list and communicating with them over the long term is the best thing you can do. Uh, from there, as you can see, list building and joint method, uh, joint venture methods that actually work. Uh, and, you know, again, th this is all like real world stuff, right? Um, number eight, you would use powerful offline sales techniques to dramatically increase your conversion. You would build your sales funnel. You would drip money into your bank account. You would um, then start to think about how do I optimize all these things that I put in it. So there's some secrets you want to know about making those sales and a process you go through to continue to improve. Um, from there, you'd look at... Uh, you know, taking practical steps to generating more leads, more sales, more traffic. We'd talk about the traffic stack specifically. You would figure out what is your traffic stack like. And the way to approach that is find out one that works, that becomes a strength, build on the strength, and then start to find the next one and the next one and the next one. Eventually, you're diversified. Um, keyword research, super important, especially for the SEO side of things. And um, lots, of, lots of uncommon ways to do that if you know what you're doing. 
Um, so there's there's some pretty cool stuff there. And then as you go on, um, you know, we talked about these timeless off-page SEO strategies. You know, how do you get other people to mention you? How do you use social media without, you know, I mean, how do you do it effectively, right? Um, and then if you're a local business, we talked about this, you know, what are the processes that you go through to actually get rid of the yellow pages but embrace local search? And how do you do that really for free? Uh, that's what that's all about. And then the approach, you know, what you can measure, you can improve. How do you measure stuff? How do you create KPIs? How do you improve over the long term? And then uh, we've always talked about WordPress around here. Uh, if you followed me at all, you know, big fan of WordPress over here. And then finally, what are some of the time, timeless and proven profit strategies? So uh, it's all about maximizing the um, your profit strategies and doing that. And then I throw in uh, module 21, how to triple your productivity in a single evening, which is just awesome whether you're an entrepreneur, single mom, anything, so uh, skier. So um, when we put a value to all this, uh, it actually added up to be pretty hefty. I mean, I told you how long I've been in this business and all the, you know, every one of these comes from basically building something for a client or creating a result for one of our companies. So um, I, I looked at that number and I was like, well, that's kind of crazy. So. Um, that was what it came to, though, and that's you know that's that's what it came to. So um, then I started to think, well, you know, what if I were to work with people, and how could I create more value for them? So uh, if somebody were to do a course with me, thought, you know, the most valuable thing I can do is spend an hour with somebody at minimum and do a breakthrough call. So uh, when we invite people to come into this course, that's what we'll do. And then we, we also give them uh, a bunch of archives to different um, interviews with successful entrepreneurs to old masterminds that we used to hold and stuff like that. We don't really anymore, and I'll, I can explain why later. Um, and you know, but the end result is that you know we're always improving to get the best results for our, our clients. And then of course, you know, if, if somebody does end up joining um, and doing this, we we bring them in and and bring them uh, a workbook as well. So lots of more real world value there, and you know, giving people the checklists. Whenever we create checklists for companies that we're working with, we add that uh, and make it available. You know, giving people training every you know that's available whenever you're available, and you can come back into this you know forever and ever and ever. So we we'll add bonus modules because everything's changing, but ultimately you want it to to work. So. Again, this is what the value ended up coming out at. And so I figured that, you know, if, if all it did was basically motivate you to revive your internet business that's maybe stuck in dream mode or maybe just an opportunity mode uh, and get you going on your income generator, or maybe you need to just optimize what's already working, right? Uh, you know, what if it just pushes you in the right direction and you create a brand new stream of sales from the internet that creates a few thousand dollars a month? I mean, Dr. Wu Di did it. Why not you? Um, you know, what if you just go through 2016 strong with a much bigger, safer, happier, more satisfied profit center and cash flow? And, you know, what if you have a walk the walk mentor and system? Be kind of a different thing, hopefully. So anything we do around the master key formula, of course, is going to have the traffic stack, the relationship enhancers, the prospects, siphons, the trust building automatic. Um, automated follow-up sequences, the irresistible offers, the profit maximizers, and it's perfect timing if you think about making more money this month. And of course, you know, doing the proven business systems and the checklists. And again, this is all the stuff that we're using in our own businesses as well as our customers. And so, uh, you know, when we put it all together, it looks like this. And um, you know, just there's your proven checklist example and stuff like that, and ends up being. A real hunk of meat, basically, and so you know, we we thought, well, you know, let's figure out a way to get people access to this if it's a good fit for them, and you know, what would that look like? So started to kick around a cost of um, or an investment rather of 1997, and I thought, you know, that would be good, um, but I just didn't quite feel like that was the right thing to do, I guess, and you know, because I'm looking at, you know, if you don't have the master key. You know, you have no proven strategies. You're doing the bright shiny object thing on the internet. You know, with it, you have the proven strategies. Without it, you're chasing shiny objects. With it, you have step-by-step -step proven implementation guides. You know, without it, you've got lots of competition. With it, you've got no more competition. You know, without it, you struggle to make sales. With it, you're doubling, tripling your sales. Without it, you're just getting by, and with it, you've got long-term profits. So, uh, and of course, without the master key, there's no one-on-one -on -one help, and with the master key, there's live interaction. And so. Trying to figure out a way to, you know, what what's the fair thing to do here? And, 
you know, if if we did ask this amount, I thought, you know, 1997, it's it's easily what it would cost just to get part of this stuff outsourced, you know, just to get part of the proven roadmap and your success, you know, not including all the trainings and the systems and the access and, and all this other stuff. That that would probably be a fair thing to ask. Um, and, you know, we thought more about it, you know, if it's something that you need, it's something that you want, you know, maybe we would ask for 1497. And, you know, that would also be fair, I thought, because, you know, you could avoid all the travel. I mean, just one trip is going to cost you more than this to these places, you know, like I was talking about, like, well, like where Vince and I met each other, you know, uh, probably a $5,000 weekend. Um, you know, and it took 10 years and $200,000 to come up with this stuff. And, you know, it, so it'd be fair to ask that, but I, I just didn't want to, I guess, at the end of the day. And I even thought that I would step it down to here. Um, but here's the deal. You need more than just a website. You need more than just content. You need more than just videos. You probably need a mentor or, um, you know, what you really need is something that works, right? So we know that this works. Here's what I want to do is I want to show you how to get access to it for $497. Um, but there's, there is a catch and it's an ethical catch. I'll explain it. Um, you know, the whole thing is if you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer will never be known. If you don't step forward, you'll always be in the same place. And so this is the catch. Um, I want to work with people who are a good fit. And, you know, in the, in the old days, I used to offer this to everybody, and it caused headaches, and quite frankly, it didn't serve either party. And so, you know, my mission is to help you dominate the market using the Internet. And so really think about, you know, do you have a product or service that has something unique to it? And if the answer is yes, then we're getting somewhere. Um, you know, do you understand that the internet basically is not a get-rich-quick scheme? I hope the answer is yes to that as well. And if are you committed to investing in yourself and your business? And I don't really mean money here. I mean time, energy, investment. You know, are you are you committed to growing? Because we're very growth-oriented over here. We want to grow with people who are growth-oriented over there. And so if the answer is yes to that, then basically I've got a 100% risk-free offer for you. Um, you know, we're not going to give you access to this course if we don't think it'll help. And so it's an easy decision for you to make. Basically, here's what you do. Go to internetsalesstampede.com forward slash meet, and I want to do a strategy session with you. And what will happen is you'll go there. I'll show you the website in just a second. A member of our team will call you within 24 hours and set up a time. They're going to ask you just a couple introductory questions. And then you and I will personally have a brief discussion to learn more about your business and whether we can help you grow. And that's really it. I think it's pretty fair. Um, InternetSalesStampede.com forward slash meet. Uh, I would like to you know, explore whether we're a good fit to work together. I'd like to learn more about your business. Uh, you know, uh, find out what you benefited from by being on the webinar today and uh, you know just a very uh, exploratory call and you know if, if the course is a good fit for you then you know we have a special uh, price arranged uh, uh, you know since this is Vince's audience here if it's not a good fit for you that's cool too and uh, the real key here is there's there's a way that I can help you and it may be the course it may not be the course we don't really know and that's why we uh, will do this meeting and so um, you know we'll do a Sales Stampede Strategy Session, we'll talk about your business, get to know you, get to know what we do over here, and we'll see if it's a good fit to move forward on any level. And so uh, that is, that's that's where we'll go from here. So internetsalesstampede.com forward slash meet. Uh, let me show you what the website looks like real quick. Um, if you come over here into Chrome, which is the web browser of choice over here, you'll just come to a Internet sales, sales, and then another S, stampede.com, meet, and you should just see this guy come up like this. Scroll on down here, give me your name, your email address, your website, your phone number, and tell me just one thing that I need to know about you, and I will look forward to being on that uh, call here with you shortly. So uh, we'll talk real soon. I, I hope that you've... Uh, gotten a lot of value out of this. Uh, we really tried to create the uh, you know, most value in a 
small period of time here. So I'll see you over at internetsalesstampede.com forward slash meet. And uh, until next time, uh, you keep on doing the good work.